Genexus Enterprise AI offers a front end similar to that found in ChatGBT or BARD, plus an intuitive interface for interacting with assistants and LLMs. From the platform, the Playground option provides access to this front end and offers a practical view of how end users will interact with the artificial intelligence models defined in the back office. This makes it easier to understand the interaction flow and allows adjusting the settings to achieve a more effective user experience. The front end screen is divided into three panels. Assistance panel and user menu, chat panel, and the context panel. Let's see how to work with them. We start with the assistance and user menu panel. This panel contains the assistance section at the top and the user menu at the bottom. As we arrived here through the playground option, in the front end, we were already positioned in the organization and project we were working on. Then, at the top, we see the assistance defined by the organization and also those defined by default. The default assistants include search with Google, chat with LLM, and create images. So what actions can we do from here? We can, for example, select an assistant to interact with and generate a new chat. Let's select our marketing assistant and choose new chat. Let's try with the product, cell phone, and we have the answer according to the functionality of this assistant. Now let's select the assistant to interact with Genexus training documents. And let's ask, for example, what's a transaction object? And we get the answer according to the information in the documents queried. But we can also chat with the LLM assistant. We select it, and the default value is GPT 3.5. We adjust the conversation style using this scroll bar, write the query message, and send it. Let's ask, for example, who was John Lennon? And we receive the answer in the chat panel. All right. We can also create folders to organize the chats. To do so, we select the folder icon next to the chat and give it a name. For example, My Products. We can then drag the chats to the corresponding folder and keep everything tidy and accessible. We'll give a title to this conversation and drag it to the folder. We can edit or delete by selecting the corresponding icons. It's important to note that the chat history is stored in the local storage of the browser used. Therefore, if we change the browser, we won't see the same thing. All right, now let's look at the user menu. It's located at the bottom of the panel with additional options to manage and customize our experience. It includes the following options. Delete conversations. This option allows you to delete all conversations. Settings. It allows you to adjust the appearance of the panel by switching between light and dark modes. And there's the log out option to log out of the system. Now, let's look at the chat panel. This is the main interface for interacting with assistants and LLMs as we saw recently. Here we can view the queries and answers generated. We can use the chat box to enter queries and enjoy smooth communication. Note that the upper part of the chat panel shows the name of the assistant that's selected at the time of chatting. We see arrows on both sides of the selected assistant name. The left arrow collapses the assistant panel and the right arrow collapses the messages panel. We still have to see the context panel. This panel allows you to simplify daily or repetitive tasks by creating prompts. 
These prompts are stored locally to facilitate the execution of actions. From here, it's possible to create new messages, create new folders, as we saw in the chat panel, and thus organize messages in customized folders, and also to select, search, and organize messages. Once folders and messages have been created, we can select them and make searches. All right, next we'll look a little more in detail at the configuration options of a RAG Assistant.